My name is Peter Bruninger, and I'm here with Gordon Waters from the audio company. Gordon, how are you today? Doing well, thank you. Um, we're pleased to be here at the inaugural Florida Audio Expo in Tampa, Florida. We have brought with us what is considered by many to be the finest front end for any audio system that's been assembled. Um, to that end, everything starts with a proper foundation, and to that, we'll bring in uh, Joe Lavrenchek of Critical Mass Systems to describe his Max and Max system. Come on in, Joe. Hi, I'm Joe Lavrenchek from Critical Mass Systems. It's really a pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure to work with the audio company and everybody else in this room because I mean, they're just world-class people, world-class equipment. So for us, it's a big thrill. This uh, this particular rack is the as our Maxim. This at one point was our, our highest end uh, system, but we have one above this, but we'll talk about this right now. So for us, the most important thing is to make sure that the engineering and the electronics comes through the cabling and gets to the loudspeakers unaffected. What we're trying to do is produce a pure audio signal so that when it comes out of your loudspeakers, it reproduces as close as possible reality. You get the sense of being there at the recorded event. So naturally we're lowering natural frequency, but we go way beyond that, taking really careful care, laser focus on making sure that whatever we do inside of our filter systems, that we're retaining the engineering that's inside of these fabulous electronics. So with that, I'll turn it over to Scott from Esoteric. Come on in, Scott. Thank you, Joe. Scott, how are you today? Fine, thing. How are you, Peter? And good, good. Tell us about what you have here. Yep. Uh, you know, we're of course, very excited to be here. We're, we're always ready to jump at the chance when Keith and the guys ask us to be a part of one of their rooms. We've brought two digital sources for them. We have the N01, which is our network audio player, our flagship network audio player. It's used for streaming from hard drive, uh, various type of files, or also using its USB input as a DAC for a, a, another source that one of the other guys is more familiar with or cozy with. The other source we have is uh, actually covers five pieces. We have the Grandioso P1 transport with its separate power supply. Then here's an unusual part. It's feeding <coughs> monoblock DDA converters. So left channel DAC, right channel DAC, and then all of the digital sources are synced with our Rubidium master clock. So these are the uh, digital sources that we're, we're presenting and feeding into the vac where we let Tevin, Kevin take over. Kevin, come on down. I can do that. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us at the Florida Audio Expo. We are so happy and excited to be here at this uh, premier event at a beautiful time of year with warm weather. And it's a hometown area for us. We, our factory is only about an hour down the road in Sarasota. And on the electronic side, we have controlling the signal for the system, the statement line stage. This is our finest cost no object uh, assault on what's possible. And I think one could make the argument that when the very best is just barely good enough for you, this is what you have to have. <laughs> um, it has um, been covered by many videos in the past, so I don't want to belabor too much time. You can look back at some of the other IB showrooms coverage of this. Suffice to say, um, uh, everything we could think to do that might improve the performance even a little bit is in here, and it makes a massive difference, uh, preserving the breath of life, the emotion, just the things that make music enjoyable and move you, and uh, that's enough said about that. The audio chassis is here, power supply is down there at the bottom of the Maxim rack on the right. And for analog sources, we have the back statement phono stage, probably the single finest thing we've ever had the privilege of making in almost 30 years of business. Well, God bless um, you. How about that? Hmm? How about that? It's, uh, it's configured with four inputs in case you have a very elaborate analog setup. Um, gain structures from 52 dB for moving magnets all the way up into the near 80 range for moving coils. Full adjustability for load. Um, just really the best thing that uh, I've ever had the privilege of hearing. It excites me every time I get to be at a show with the other fine partners here and hear what uh, we can do with the Von Schweikert speakers through their fine master built cables. And on that note, I might want to bring in someone from Von Schweikert. So as Kevin and the other gentlemen were talking about all this fine electronics that we have here, um, 
everything is actually going to the amplifiers through the master built ultra cables um, these are their top of the line flagship cables you know part of uh, part of speaker design is you know sourcing components that have characteristics you're looking for uh, in signal path you want to have the most neutral um, uh, transmission possible and uh, and you want to have the purest signal transmission uh, from our experience from the get-go when we were introduced to master built products in 2008 what then became the reference line we were immediately impressed and decided it had to be incorporated into our into our signal path simply inside the speaker um, from there they they were developing cable lines and we were um, in a position where we could distribute the product for them they just want to focus on engineering and manufacturing and so it was a it was a pleasure to do that the ultra line is uh, the product of more than 15 years of development uh, it incorporates uh, proprietary uh, a lot of proprietary technology and using precious alloys yeah. and uh, and we hope you enjoy it well thank, thank you very much and Leif could you tell us about the turntable over here oh this is this is the uh Kronos Pro. This is uh, their flagship turntable, and of course we have the SCPS uh, supercapacitor power supply. Uh, we are using a airtight Opus One cartridge, and we have the Black Beauty tone arm, and uh, it's, it's a work of art. It sure is. Well, thank you very much for the System One source components, and uh, let's move on to System Number Two source components. And Gordon, what do we have over here for the source components for system number two? Okay, starting from the top, um, we're starting with the Clear Audio Innovation Turntable uh, with the universal 12-inch tone arm and the airtight PC1 Supreme cartridge. Uh, we fold that this is really high value for the money turntable performance. Um, it's, it's going from there, we, go, we also have the esoteric Grandioso uh, K1 CD player, which is their flagship all-in-one CD player. It incorporates the same technology and transports and DAXs as the separate units that Scott was speaking about a moment ago in a one-bot solution. Um, it's actually, in my opinion, the finest performing single-bot CD player I've ever encountered. Um, moving down the system, we go into the VAC master preamplifier with its own power supply. This preamplifier also has Phono stage for moving coil and moving magnet built in. Uh, it is based on the same DNA as the statement in a more compact chassis at a, a more value price point. Um, really high performance. Well, great. Thank you very much for this walkthrough. And viewers, uh, we're going to move on to System 1 and System 2 in our next two clips. So you've just uh, been described some of the finest source components cabling available in the high performance product world for high-end audio today. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you.